Because it was mainly his idea to get Joe Biden off the campaign trail. It happened a couple of weeks before, but it was very symbolic with him leading him off the stage that day. Indeed. Lawrence Jones' series in barbershops was fascinating, where he talked to black men about who they're going to vote for. Listen to some of what he was told. At the end of the day, I'm Trump because I, 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 my eyes open. I can see that he was doing a lot better than what we're going through right now. She has not proven to me yet that she can uphold this country. Most of us, I believe, we, we voted Democrat because that's what we was brought up to do, you know? You go to the poll, they say, vote Democrat, vote Democrat. But I don't really see no change. And there was a fascinating article that NBC News had today, quotes a 23-year-old black student named Charles Johnson who says, the media says he, Trump, is horrible and he's racist and he's going to bring us back. But he's only gaining support with black voters. He's only gaining support with black men. So Obama can play the scold all he wants. Right. But black men aren't listening. Well, the, the two arguments that have been offered are, are very different and in stark contrast. So President Trump is our former president, Donald Trump, is offering, look, look what I did in the first four years. I'm not asking you to vote for me as a person or because of who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you to vote because of my record. If Kamala Harris and Barack Obama making the argument that these people in the barbershop, uh, this demographic, should be voting for them based on potentially race and the fact that Democrats deserve their vote. And Kamala Harris has not offered any specific details. She tried, she's tried to make this broad argument about wanting to implement a, an opportunity economy. But when you talk to people who own barbershops, people who work there, they're business people. And yeah. the Kamala Harris campaign has, again, tried to make this, this pitch over and over again that the risk on her without the record, the economic record, is worth voting against Donald Trump, whereas Trump has made the argument to compare the last four years under Biden-Harris to his four years in the White House. You made the point a moment ago that if Trump said this a couple of uh, months ago, uh, even if you don't like me, go ahead and vote for me, which is reflected in this new ad from the Republican Jewish Coalition. Watch this year.